please be aware that call to this number may be recorded and or monitored for whatever purposes we deem necessary. Yes, good morning. The Wing Commander Base. Wing Commander's out of the office. How can I help you? Uh, yes, uh, can I speak to Mr. Uh, uh, Commander Steve Scott? Uh, Wing Commander Steve Scott is out of the country at the moment. Can I can I take a message, or do you wish his direct there, line? There he has gone. I spoke to him yesterday. Um, he, he's traveling back and forth. We're, we're testing the interdimensional transfer equipment, and he's uh, New York, between the New York, the Beijing, and uh, the U.K., uh, bases at the moment. Currently, at this moment in time, he is located. One second, I'll get the information up for you. Yes, he's at base 69474, which is the new. He's in New York at the moment, upstate New York. Do you want the telephone number for the base there? You can contact him directly. I can contact him directly over there. Yes, I can give you the telephone number for the New York New York base. It's his direct line. Uh, obviously, he's quite high up in the, the time travel. He's sleeping right now. Sorry. He'll be, he'll be resting. He the, 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 at this time. He, no, he'll be resting, he, he, but he will be able to take your call. Um, he was teleported over there perhaps 10 minutes ago, so that's where he is. He went from Beijing straight to New York after coming from the UK. But he can take a call. I'll give you the telephone number for the New York office, yeah? Okay. Okay. Um, the area code for, obviously, for the US is 001. And his direct line is 518. Three five one one six six eight. Is this regarding recruitment or whatever? We're looking for um, some recruits that we can take on volunteers for the interdimensional travel experimentation. Um, are you one of his recruits or? Well, well, well. I am not a recruit. I'm basically calling from the. Would would you be interested in being a recruit? Department. From the what department? Oh, from the British Banking Department. The Fighting Department, yes, no problem. Um, yeah, yeah, we're, we're recruiting at the moment, and I mean, per, per, I mean, it's, it's a very lucrative business. Obviously, the interdimensional travel is fairly new technology, and we're looking for volunteers. If you're a civilian, uh, that would be even better because we need those. It shows that, you know, that that the process works, that the apparatus works, and we're currently paying uh, in excess of three thousand dollars per test. So, I mean, if you're interested in that, that's something we can, you can certainly talk to the wing commander about. But what are your qualifications? There, there doesn't have to be any qualifications. All, the only qualification for the civilian program is that you're a civilian, you're not involved in the military in any way, shape or form. And it doesn't really matter where in the world you're located. But because I, am, I am uneducated. I'm uneducated. It doesn't matter as long as you're a civilian. Are you a civilian? Yes. If you're a civilian, sir, you qualify for the civilian program. That's three thousand dollars per transfer. Some days, I mean, it, it, it's rare. Usually, we, we stick to one transfer what, every what two or three days. Do? What do I have to do? Basically, we would we would uh, liaise with you. You'd come to one of our particular bases, and on arrival, you'd get a quick a quick fitness exam. Make sure you're fairly fit. You'd have to be super fit or anything like that, as long as you're reasonably healthy. Oh, very very fat. It doesn't matter, sir. That doesn't matter. How fat are you? I am ninety nine. Uh, no, I am uh, approximately ninety pounds. That's nothing, sir. That's not fat. That's that's absolutely fine. That's perfect. It's, it's, you know, I mean, basically, I mean, it, it doesn't really matter the size of the object for the matter transference. Um, but, but I I stay in India. That's fine. We 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 have bases over there. That's absolutely How fine. This is this oh, is the, this is the beauty of this. We have dimensional transfer equipment. You know you know about dimensional transfer, yes? No, I don't know that. Okay, what what this is? We're experimenting currently on how we can get, you know, a, tra a transport mechanism around this particular planet, and how it works. You know, we can be here now. I can be talking to you now. I could be transferred to the wing commander in New York. I'm currently in the UK, and we can be transferred to New York in a matter of seconds. In three seconds' time, I could be in New York. Now, the difficulty we have is a lot of civilians, obviously, we're keeping this. It's, it's a little bit quiet at the moment. It is top-secret information. But 
how, you know, we need civilians that will be willing in, in future to write a little bit of documentation, how you're feeling, make sure you're, you're healthy, what you think of the technology, you know, all that kind of thing, because this, this is going to be big business in the future. Obviously, we can transfer things anywhere in the world. We don't need aeroplanes. Mm -hmm. We don't need boats. We don't need ships. You know, you can be transferred. It also has other implications where you could get foodstuffs transferred to, you know, areas where perhaps there isn't any food, and it would be there instantly. Do you like the sound of that? Oh. For every, for every test, and it'll be a minimum. You'd be doing maybe two tests a week. You'd be paid three thousand dollars per test. All that would happen is you would go from India, maybe to the U.S., maybe to the U.K., and then we would transfer you back. So you could be back home, you know, inside two hours, and you've made yourself three thousand dollars. Okay, how I will come to U.K. You get to the UK. We could we could arrange to collect you. Whereabouts in India are you? New Delhi, India. Sorry. New Delhi, the capital. You're in you're in New Delhi. I'm not sure. Do we have a base? Is there is there a US base in New Delhi anywhere? I'm going to imagine there will be. And if there is, then we will be in the process of getting this technology into every base on the on the planet. Um, you could meet, we could meet up with you. We'd arrange to collect you. We'd pick you up in a car. You'd come to the base. Like I say, there's a simple questionnaire, a very, very simple medical. It doesn't matter if you're overweight. That doesn't matter at all. Your hair color is unimportant. Your skin color is unimportant. Nothing, nothing is important. It's just as long as you're a civilian and you're willing to document, just to write down your feelings, how you're feeling, before and after the, you know, after the transfer, and that, that's basically it. In time, we will go public with this, and you'd obviously make probably quite a bit of money from TV shows and things like that as well as being one of the first uh, civilian volunteers in this program. But this is something that, you know, within the next 20 years, certainly everyone will be doing to transfer around the world. If you imagine like a payphone in your area, you know, a, a telephone in your area, you could go to the telephone, you dial in your destination, and the next thing you know, you're there. You know, this is, this is going to be big business, um, and obviously, I, I, you know, it's just amazing. It really is amazing. I love it. I, I've been all over the world just in the past week. I've been, I've been to China. I've been to Hong Kong. I've been to the U.S. I've been down to London. Oh, I can come to you. We, we oh, would I can meet you then. We would collect you in New Delhi. You'd have to arrange it with the wing commander. Um, he's obviously in charge of recruitment. Um, and how, how it would work, he would collect you or someone, a personnel, would connect you. They would bring you to the base. Once you arrive at the base, as I say, quick questionnaire, and off we go, sir. You'd be transferring that day, and the cash would be in your bank that particular day, or we could obviously arrange some cash for you that we'd just hand over to you if that was uh, better for you. So it's, it's, that's it really is simple. Okay, yeah, simple, simple, yes. So yes. Come to pick me from New Delhi, please. Uh, you please do, right now, come, please. <laughs> right now? <laughs> um, I'll tell you what I'll do, sir. I'll... I want to join you, please. please I want to join okay. you. Okay. Do you want to give me some quick deal? What's, what's your name there, sir? And I'll pass this on to the wing commander. John. John Smith. John Smith. Is that definitely your real name? Because obviously for, for you know, paying you, yes. would would need your real name. Okay, sir. And you're yes. in New Delhi currently. And is there, a, is there a telephone yeah. number that we can get in touch with you? Do you have a cell phone? Mm, yes. Yes, what's your cell phone telephone number? That is the India number. What do you will do with it? It's to contact you, sir, for the recruitment. I mean, if you want to call the wing commander directly, as I said, I give you his direct line there before, you can call him and arrange that. I need the money in advance, please. I need some money in advance, please, please, please. Well, you'd have to, you'd have to you'd have to do one of the first um, you know one of the first tests first, uh, but you'd get the money the same day. You know, it's such such a you know we we stand to make an awful lot of money from this, and we don't mind paying you know three thousand uh, dollars to volunteers. If if you do more, like I say, you could do two or three of these a week. If you did two or three a week, that's nine thousand dollars for the week. That's U.S. dollars, by the way. I can do it every day, every day I can do it. <laughs> well, uh, sometimes we can't do it every day because obviously we've got uh, you know, a lot of the personnel here that do like to use it, and it does take I some... I need $3,000 every day. Please, please <laughs> help me. I'm a poor person. No money. I'm sure you're not poor. You've got a good job there, sir. No, please, please help me, please. 
give me the job right now, please. Do you, do you have money for food? Yeah, less money for food. No. How, how many children do you have? No, I'm not married. No children. No, no wives? No, no, no Only wives. Wife, no children. You, you have wives, yes? Only wife, no children. How many wives do you have? Seven. You have seven wives? Do you like having seven wives? Yes. Yes. Yes, yeah, seven wives would be good, wouldn't it? Is that, is that why you sound so tired? Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? My, my name? Yeah. My name is Henry. What do you do, Henry? I'm the lieutenant here. Oh, lieutenant. Okay. So why don't you join the business with your... Uh, I'm already in the business. That's one of my one of my babies. I, I invented the teleportation in the first place. So in just two seconds, I can reach any part of the world, right? I can be anywhere, sir. Anywhere. I could transfer myself right now. It's like a time machine in IFC. <laughs> that is like a time it, machine. Which it doesn't find. work on time. It is matter transference. It's interdimensional or spatial transference. Um, it just, it's, it's just amazing technology, sir. It's just, it, you, you know, you will be using this. Even if you didn't join now, which I'm sure you will, you will be using this in the future. And, you know, it's just going to completely change the world. Change the world. Anywhere there's a food shortage, we can transfer food. You know, anywhere that needs medical support, we can transfer medical personnel. I am they, short of money. Please send me some money. We can, trans please, we can please, transfer please money me. also, sir. <laughs> That's the other thing. You know, the transfer of money would be instant and secure. Can you give me some advance, like only your 500 pounds? Only 500 pounds of You advance, can make 3,000 pounds, sir. We could pick you up t today or tomorrow, and you can make $3,000. Which is current exchange rate is um, approximately. I need in pounds. I need in pounds. You need in pounds. That's that's about one thousand nine hundred pounds currently that you could make today. So please help me. How I can make it today? I want the money today. Okay, you need to call the wing commander. You need to call him immediately. He's he deals. He's the only one that can deal with recruitment. So sorry, I'm not qualified here to deal with the recruitment. Uh, there's more, you know, with the apparatus. Uh, and obviously training for yourself um, once you arrive. What will happen is uh, you'll be picked up uh, in New Delhi, transferred to the base. You will then be teleported as your first test across to the UK. I will give you further training while you're here. You'll then be transferred back to New Delhi, and you'll then be given £1,800. Oh, my God. We, we, do, we do have to say, I, you would have to keep this quiet. I don't mind you telling a few friends, and if they want to volunteer as well, that would be fine. But don't tell too many people about this, because obviously this is top-secret information I'm giving okay. you here. You know, but you, you sound like a good chap there, okay. John Smith. Um, obviously very honest, so mm -hmm. yeah, I'm trusting you on that. But if you want to give the wing commander a call, uh, he is there now. Um, Just hold on. I, I put you in a conference call with him. Just hold on. Okay, sir. Sir? Hello, sir. Can I go? Yes, sir. Hold on. My friend is also interested. Wonderful. I'm going to record it and or monitor it for whatever purposes we deem necessary. Hi, thank you for calling my conference. You are currently the only person in this conference. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? I'm fine. Wonderful, wonderful. I just, uh, one, one moment, we have someone coming through. One moment. Henry, how are you? We just had Henry arrive here. Hello there, sir. Who is this? Yes, this is John. <laughs> One, one moment, one moment, because the lieutenant has to speak to me. Yes, yeah, I'm on the telephone to him now. Hello? Yes, yes. He's interested. Wonderful. Uh, hello, is that John Smith? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Henry, Henry's just arrived. One moment, I'll put you on to Henry. Hang on a moment. Hello, John. How are you? Oh, my God, you reached there in one second? I'm here. I want to come there, please, please take me, please, please. 
You like this, yes? Yes, I love it. I want to come there. How do you feel? Where would you like? Where would you? Where would you like to visit? Anywhere in the world I you want like to go? To go to, yes, I want to go to London. Please, please, please. please to please, London? Please, 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 please. I can go to London right now if I want to. <laughs> Did you believe me before when I was telling you? Did you believe me before when I was telling you about the matter transference? No. You thought I was joking, didn't you? Can you? Yes, I thought. Now, can you come to me, please, in New Delhi? Please, please, please. We can pick you up in New Delhi. That's not a problem. What? Well, one moment there. One moment. Yes, Commander. He's definitely interested. He's practically begging me for it. I've explained it works, and I don't think he believed me until now. Now I'm in New York, and he's talking to me. Okay, sir. Um, right, what we're going to do is I'm going to put you back onto the wing commander, and he'll arrange exactly where we're going to collect you, and we can collect you later on today. Okay, okay. Give, me, give me one second, sir. I'll just pop you on hold one second. Yes, hello. Yes, hello, sir. John. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. Henry's br Henry's briefed me there quickly on that. And you want to volunteer for the vol for the matter transference? Uh, your wages will be three thousand dollars. Would you what what currency would you prefer that in? Pounds, pounds, please, pounds. In please. pounds, okay. No I'll take that down. That's in pounds. Not a problem, sir. That sounds good. Um, and would you like that pay just in cash? I want to come to London right now. Please take me, please. You'd please, probably please. be. You'd well, well. The training is done in Northumberland in England, um, which is a little bit north of London. What we'll be doing first of all, uh, we will arrange for some personnel to collect you in New Delhi. I believe you're at. Um, you will then be transferred across with myself. I'll be back in the UK myself very soon. Um, probably in the next five, five or ten minutes. Probably straight after this call, I'll be back in uh, back in the UK. Um, how we'll do it. Uh, you can come across with us. We'll meet you at the Northumberland base. Um, that's in a place called Blythe in Northumberland, where we have the, the matter transference technology. It was the first, the first ever machine. Obviously, we needed two before we could transfer. But that was the first one built, built by Lieutenant Henry here, which is wonderful. Anyway, uh, you'll be coming here. You'll be getting a quick briefing, you know, filling in a little bit with a quick medical. I think Henry's already probably explained the procedure to you. And then we can visit London if you like, and perhaps you could have the day in London before returning to New Delhi. You like the sound oh, of that? Please take me right now, please, please, please okay. take me right now, please. Okay, sir. Listen, is there anyone else? Have you got any close friends? They have to be close friends because obviously this information is all very yes, top secret. Yes, yeah, he's sitting with me. He's sitting with me. Do you want to put him on the call also, and we can we can talk through? Or do you want a quick chat with him and tell him, you know, what the procedure is? I have told him, don't worry, he's ready. Okay, what, what's his name? Uh, his name is Stephen. His name is Stephen, and what's his surname? Stephen Moore. Stephen Moore. Okay. Okay, okay, how it'll work there. Would, we, would you both want collecting at the same time? Yes, yes. Okay. Can you collect this right now, please? It would be later on today, I'm afraid. I have to get back to the UK um, within the next 15, 20 minutes. I'll be back in the UK. Um, but we can make arrangements now. Um, okay, we'd need somewhere to collect you. I'm not familiar with New Delhi. You would have to tell me where would you need collecting? Where can we collect you in New Delhi? Whatever place you think. You, you tell me an address and we, we can get personnel there. The address will be Connaught Place. Connaught Place. Can you spell that for me, please? Give me one, one second there. C O. Ah, that's fine. I thought someone else was coming through the. the is there someone come through? The, there's someone coming through the telephone. Oh, here we go. Someone else is teleporting in here. This is wonderful technology. I'm amazed by it. Henry, you are a brilliant, brilliant man. Why on earth you're doing such a menial job as this? I don't know. You're absolutely wonderful. Okay. Um, okay. Can you spell the address, please? Where we'll be collecting you? C O N N. Yes. A U G H T. 
ST, did you say at the end? Okay. ST, Ed's for Henry T. Potango. Right, and what is this? Is this a street name, or what is this place? Place, P-L-A-C-E, place. Okay, and that is where? Uh, that's in New Delhi. Okay. We have a secret base over in New Delhi, so that's uh, not a problem. What we'll do is, what, what time are you going to be there? Uh, in 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Yeah. Okay, what's the local time over there right now? Four o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, well, listen, what I'll do is, can we make it 30 minutes? Because I have to transfer back into the UK, and uh, then we'll arrange with the New Delhi, and uh, we'll get some personnel to collect you. They'll take you to the secret underground base in New Delhi, and they can transfer okay. you directly to, okay. to ourselves here in Northumberland, in England, um, where we can get some cash sorted and get you off for your day trip to London and send you back to New Delhi later on this evening. Okay, not a problem, sir. Uh, if you can be there in 30 minutes, and what will happen is a, car, a, a military personnel will arrive to collect you. Don't be worried about that. Uh, you will be getting VIP treatment all the way to the base. And uh, I'll be seeing you probably in about an hour's time, sir, because you'll be over here in, well, I'll be in Northumberland in England by then, and so will you. So I'll see you over in Northumberland. Okay. Okay, see you in an hour there, sir. You take care. Okay. Adios. Okay, bye-bye. Please be aware the call to this number may be recorded and or monitored for whatever purposes we deem necessary. LA Base. Uh, hang on, hold the, yes, hold the line a moment. We've got some... Hang on, hold the line. Hello? Yes, is it Steve Scott? You're calling for the wing commander, yeah? Oh, he's be coming through in a moment. He's not quite back here yet. You're calling the UK. Okay, who's that? My name? Yeah? My, my name isn't really important. Are you, are you involved in this project? Yes, yes, I have been just now. Uh, who have you spoke to regarding the project? Harry. You spoke to Harry? Do you mean Henry? Yeah. Yeah, Henry, Henry, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, what do you know about the project? I'm just checking because obviously it's a top secret project here. So, you know, what do you know about the project? He told me that he will be giving me three thousand pounds for one, one project. Okay, and what what is the project that you've been recruited for, sir? He told me that uh, you will be taking me to London in five minutes. Okay, and and just just to just to make sure you do know about this, because obviously I shouldn't be speaking too much about this. Um, you know, you know, what, how how would he do that in five minutes? What do you know of it? He told me that you will come to pick me up, and you will take me to wherever place I would say, in UK. Okay, yeah, all right. That's probably the wing commander you need to speak to. If it's uh, Commander Scott, um, he'll, he'll be back here very soon. He should have been here by now. Um, he's over at uh, New York at the moment, but uh, he should be coming back through to the UK. You know, very very soon. Um. Just hold on, then I put you on a conference call with him. Well, he'll be coming through any moment. He shouldn't be taking calls. He'll be in the transference chamber. Excuse me, where the calls may be recorded and or monitored for whatever purposes we deem necessary. Where is he now? He's coming through. If you hang on a moment, I just spoke to him. I've got the coordinates. He's coming through now, actually. Yeah, we've got someone coming through. We've got a green light on there. First up, can you make I'm sure available, that... available, which means that? you get a chance to leave me a message. Yeah, you can, you've gone through to his voicemail yes. there. That's what's happened there. Oh, here he is. Give me one moment, sir. One moment. I'll put it on for you. Yes, hello. Yeah, hello. Where are you? I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. You're calling early, sir. You're calling early. There's still some time left. The personnel have been informed. Time. Is, is, is this Mr. John Smith, yes? 
Yes, 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 I'm waiting for you. Please come fast. Yes, Please. yes, John, don't worry. The personnel have been informed and they will be coming to collect you. So, have you, have you worn a straight jacket before? Yes. Yes, wonderful, wonderful. We'll have one that'll fit you, I'm sure. Um, probably talking... It's going to be a little while. Are, are you at the... You, I mean, you can't be there. You're, you're still calling me from the same telephone number, aren't you? Yes, I am. This is my cell phone number. You can one one moment, I need a quick drink. Me anywhere. One moment, because I need a quick drink. It's, it's, it's thirsty work. Good God, I've been I've been to five different places so far today, and it's only what time is it here in the UK? My my body clock is completely screwed up with this. Uh, my God, it's not even like I, I've been five places in the world today. It's not even lunchtime. What I can't wait for. We're busy building apparatus on the moon, and I can't wait to go there. Can't wait for it. That'd be wonderful. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's going to be another year or so before that's complete, or six months at the very least. But uh, it's, it's, it's going to be amazing. We're going to build a huge base on the moon. You know, we can transfer the workers there. We can transfer the, the equipment there. It's absolutely oh, I can't wait. I really can't wait. Exploring this planet. Yeah, yeah. It's become so easy. But the universe is ours now. Ours now. I tell you. <laughs> 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 All your bases are belonging to us. <laughs> I am waiting for you. Please come fast. Please. I will be there, or someone will be there to collect you very soon. They'll just be getting the correct size straight jacket, and then they'll be coming straight for you, sir. Okay? Okay, Bansuri, just give me a call on this number. I'm waiting outside, okay? You just keep on waiting. They will be there, even if they're a little late. Just wait, because it'll be well worth it, sir. Well worth it. You have okay, a lovely little holiday. Will be there. Lovely vacation for you. I, I won't be there. I'll be, I'm, I'm going to have lunch now. That's what I'm going to do. And have a big slap-up feed. Um, most mere mortals wouldn't be able to afford what I'm going to eat today, but by God, we get paid well for this, and there's a lot more to come. <laughs> Once I rule the universe, <laughs> I will have whatever I want, whatever I require. <laughs> I will click my fingers, and it is mine. Okay, sir. I am waiting. Please come fast. We will see you soon. I must go and eat. I've got a big slap up meal, and I have three women waiting for me. So I'm going to have some fun this afternoon. Okay, can you give me some money in advance, like only 500 pounds, please? As soon as you get here, sir, we'll be giving you some money. What, 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 what do you like to eat? Something? You, what, once you, yeah, once you get here, you'll be getting some money immediately. Um, what would you like to eat when you get here? Any particular preference? But, you butter, chicken, you like? butter chicken, butter chicken. Butter chicken, butter chicken. Butter chicken? What else? Uh, yes, only butter chicken. That's it. How many butter chickens would you like? Only one, one. Only one? That's, that's good. A nice, a nice man who isn't too greedy. That's what I like to hear. Um, do you want any women? <laughs> no, no, oh, no. But is it men? Perhaps you want men? No, 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 not at all. Are no. you quite sure? It's only the money. Money and butter chicken then, yes? Yes, yes. Money. Money first. Wonderful. Person over there to arrive you, pick correct you shortly. If you just sit yourself down on the wall... And uh, they'll arrive, and we'll get you kitted up in the straight jacket, get it fitted, and uh, we'll take it from there, sir. But I'll be seeing you later on this afternoon, anyway. Okay, bye. Okay. Call Speak to you, man. Take care. Bye-bye.